Hello and welcome to another edition of Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and accurately set up the work environment using a function called Align Plane. It is oftentimes necessary to orient our part and stock model into an existing fixture or vice in the Esprit workspace before we define those elements in the simulation parameters. We can use the Align Plane function to do this. Uh, it requires us to create a work plane off of either the stock model or the part model, and then define either an existing work plane to move those models down to, or select elements on an object to move those objects or models down to that point as well. So first I'll go ahead and create the work plane off of my part model here. I'm going to go to the geometry toolbar and then select work plane from geometry. It'll ask me to select two edges. The first edge is going to be in respect to the U vector of the work plane. So I'll select this edge here. And then the second edge is in respect to the V vector of the work plane. And I'll select this edge here. You can see it creates a work plane here with U and V running along those respective edges. Um, I'm going to want to rotate this, this work plane here off of or, or around the W vector 90 degrees. The reason being is because when I select the objects on my vice that I want to align them to, I'm going to select this edge here in respect to the U vector and this edge here in respect to the V vector. So I need it to kind of align like that on the part. To do this, we can use the Layers and Planes Accessories toolbar. There's a function on there called Rotate Plane 90 Degrees. You can get this toolbar by going to View, Toolbars, Accessories Add-in, and then here is the Layers and Planes Accessories toolbar. So I'll go ahead and select this button here, Rotate Plane 90 Degrees. And you can see it rotates the plane 90 degrees. And what I can do now is I will turn both my stock model and my part model on. That way we uh, move both at the same time. I'll do a drag box to select the two. I can then right click, copy. We're gonna use the align plane function. We're moving it. So here you can either select an existing plane if you had one down at that position, or I'm, what we're gonna use is select plane using geometry. I'll select okay. Here's the first edge in respect to the U vector. Here's the second edge in respect to the V vector. And once I select those edges, you can see the part model and the stock model move down into position. So there's my part model without the stock. And if we wanted to close the jaws here, what I can do is just take a quick measurement uh, between these two objects by going to the measure tab here. And I'll just select this edge and this edge. And I can see if I move down, so I'll move my work plane back down here. And in the Y direction here in the Y axis, I have this value here, which I can copy that value. And then what I can do is go back to the Features tab there, select the two models, right-click, copy. We're going to do a translate, positional translate here, 0 and x. I'm going to copy and, or paste that value into y and then 0, z. And I can hit OK, and it moves those two objects over. And you can see now my stock is sitting between those two jaws. Another function of Align Plane is actually useful. It's called Align Faces. Um, and so let's say you have this model here, but maybe some changes need to be made to the model and you need to bring a second revised model into the file. Um, I've done that here. So if I turn on my revision layer, I have a revised model here and it kind of comes in in the same orientation as the first one. Um, and we're gonna use align plane with align faces or using faces to bring that second model into the same position as the first. Um, to do this, I'm gonna create a work plane off of sim a similar feature. So you need kind of like features, whether it's a hole or a face. I'm going to use this face here, and we're using that work plane from geometry here, and I select the face, and it creates a work plane here. And then what I can do is just select my model, right-click, copy. We're going to use the align plane function again, select plane using geometry. I'll hit OK. And then if I select that same face, you can see it stacks the two models here. And you can see I can hide either my part to see the revised model, or I can hide the revision to see the part model, the original part model. Um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget you can go to espreecam.com and subscribe to our newsletter to see any more information on upcoming videos.